Dragon Ball Super was pretty cool to me, bro. And it's got me really interested in the whole Dragon Ball lore. So let me run my intro. Y'all, and we back. All right, so let's see what this is about. The Evil Red Ribbon Army was once destroyed by Son Goku in the past. So the Red Ribbon Army is back. To achieve their goal, they have created ultra powerful androids. Mm. That mark, Red Ribbon Army. Ah, this, this animation is kind of weird, huh? It's fine, that's right. So the androids are back. We're super well. That's a proper androids attack. So is this how like all anime is gonna look now? I see a lot of anime going for this like 3D intertwined with 2D look. And it's like I, I have to try to get used to it because I didn't like it at first. But I think since anime is trying to like starting to go there and I feel like I need to get used to it. This doesn't look bad at all. Though. It looks more like a video game though, to defend the world. The superheroes begin their battle to the world. Awaken. Did Gohan just go Super Saiyan? After he promised he didn't want to use Super Saiyan power no more? Dragon Ball Super Superhero. This is going to be fire, bro. Oh, no, that's going to be fire. Oh, coming to theaters summer 2022. Low key. Low key. I have never went to the theater to watch an anime movie. I really wish I could, but a lot of my my family aren't into anime, so. Uh, and I don't really want to go by myself. So I'm kind of waiting to find somebody else that really likes anime to kind of go and watch it with them, but. That's low key fire, bro. It's going to be fire. I can't wait. I can't wait. Like I said, I gotta get, get, get used to that art style, but for the most part, that's gonna be a fire, uh, that's gonna be a fire little, uh, series. And then the fact that Gohan is going Super Saiyan again, after, um, in Super, he said he only wanted to do Ultimate Gohan, um, it's, I, yeah, it's fire, it's very fire. 